Lisa here, and I wanted to show you how to vote for the Cozy Escape Awards because it is not maybe very easy or intuitive if you've never used Patreon before. So the first thing you wanna do is go to my website, lisaseifert.com, and over here at the top right, you'll see this little Patreon logo. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and just hit that. It will open up our Cozy Escape Patreon page in a new tab. So over here, all you're going to do is hit the follow button. Now, it's absolutely free to hit follow, just so you know, you can bypass. I know it does show two paid tiers. You do not have to pay at all. It is 100% free to both participate in book club and also participate in the Cozy Awards voting. So over here, you're just gonna go ahead and hit follow, and then you're gonna put in your information up here, and I'm gonna use a email that I have not used in a while. <laughs> so lisa at lisalatte.com. And then you can make any password that you want. Uh, and then go ahead and click sign up. Now, once you hit sign up, you are going to be sent a confirmation email. So you will have to go over and confirm that. In your inbox, you should have an email from Patreon. It might be in your spam, so check there. And all you have to do is hit confirm email and then your profile is confirmed. So go back to the original page. It'll say, please verify your email address. But once you have, you can just go ahead and refresh that page and now you can vote. So down here, again, you don't have to pay at all. You can ignore these tiers if you don't want to join. Scroll to the bottom where it says, see all 40 posts and it'll change the layout of your page. So over here at the top, you should see Cozy Escape Awards 2021, 20 posts. So click that. Once you click that, those 20 posts Posts are your posts that you can vote from. So it will automatically populate and it's in reverse chronological order. Uh, so I entered these in the correct order, one through 20, but uh, because it shows the newest ones first, you'll see 20, which is the international category. Um, and again, these correspond with the Cozy Escape guidebook. So if you downloaded the Cozy Escape guidebook, you will be able to follow along one, two, three, four, five, all the way through 20 to see all 20 categories. So this would be murder and Connemara is the one I wanna vote for. You don't have to hit submit or anything. Once you check the checkbox next to your book selection, you're good. If you change your mind, you can change it to another one over here. Um, and then you can just keep going down. Like I wanna vote for Jacqueline Frost book over here. Uh, maybe I want to vote for, um, the Victoria Gilbert book, but you can just go down and you can vote for all 20 categories inside of here until you get all the way to the end, which is number one, which is culinary, and then you are done with voting. And that's all you have to do. And again, it doesn't cost you a single thing to vote. That's how you vote. Um, I know it's not as intuitive maybe as finding other things, but honestly, like when I go on Facebook, I can never find anything. So this at least helps by having uh, some posts that you can mark. Also, if you wanna go back in and you're like, you know what? Later you're like, I wanna change my vote for culinary, right? And you could go over here, there's 32 more um, different tags over here and you could go ahead and find culinary. And if you select culinary over here, it'll show you the culinary category as well. Um, there are the same thing, you could go back and redo the florist gardening ca category and you can do that over here. So hopefully that helps and that clarifies everything. I know it can be a little tough to navigate this, so thank you for being patient and we can't wait to see your votes and tally those up and we will see you guys on September 15th, if you go over here to events and you go to the Cozy Escape Awards to celebrate Miss National Cozy Mystery Day, we'll be announcing all the winners. We have some cool giveaways. And all you have to do to save it to your calendar is just select one of these um, options here, Google Calendar or iCal, depending on which one you use. I use Google Calendar, um, the Apple Calendar. I like sometimes have it with me, I sometimes don't. So it's just easier for me to use Google Calendar. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but those are your two options to just go ahead and add it into your schedule. All right, super excited to see you guys on the 15th and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.